what in the name of God were you all watching? Dick Forkin? Dick Forkin. Something called You Can Stop at Five or Six Stores. Oh, okay. Well, my, my Crapture card didn't work for a, uh, a minute, but then I restarted the computer, and now I'm back. It's like when uh, ACDC uh, Johnson, he said, uh, I think it was them, where he says... It was supposed to be quiet. Hi, how are you feeling today, Vin? I am feeling better. I, I spent a good chunk of earlier just relaxing and making making sleep. So I'm, I'm definitely feeling better. I, I was uh, still in the throes of a really fucking bizarre headache that wasn't dehydration. And then uh, I, I started feeling better gradually. And then I got, now I have my horchata chat not frozen this time and I'm definitely feeling a lot better <sighs> so anyway welcome back to the stream this is finale Friday where we finale both Paper Mario and destroy all humans and not perfect dark perfect dark is going to take a little bit more time You did it, man. First paper to ever defeat scissors. They're gonna write a book about it, and it'll probably, uh, and then probably a movie that everyone will hate. So, this still isn't over? I knew I should have gone to college. Wait. Chat. Where am I going? Hypnospace received a major content update. I'm aware. The main hall? Hang on. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm aware. I just wanted to make sure- Oh, right, right, okay. So I did this. Okay. Next week will be Variety Week, so there's a chance I'd revisit it. Vinny, did you see that the dude who played Black Panther died today? Chadwick Boseman? Yeah, what a fucking shame. Lord Bowser asked me to relay a short message. Hurry up and get to the supply closet. You're letting a guy walking with his face walk faster than you. It's just another, like, unfortunate... Like, he was really young. 43 is not old. It's another fucking nasty, like, plot twist to a, a bizarre year that has not been very fun. Um, yeah, four years he was working through colon cancer. So that's why we do our charity stream, you know? We don't, um... We... Most of... Most of us know someone that went through that. And it's fucked. It's not... It's not good. Obviously. So, uh, I don't really have much to say about celebrity deaths unless I know their work. You know, like, like, Tom Petty. Stuff like that. Otherwise, it's just the same thing. All I can say is it just sucks when someone talented dies young. And, um, of course I don't like it. Of course I don't like it. Lord Bowser awaits you. But anyway, let's, um... Let's continue the Paper Marioing. Uh, Mario, welcome. This is merely a supply closet, but wait until you see what is on the other side of that door. Normally, I wouldn't allow you inside these confidential areas, of course. That's why I had the security system installed. No one gets in unless I say so. To unlock the door, you'll have to, uh, um, do something with those pillars. 
It definitely involves pillars. Do something with the pillars and hurry up with it. Okay. Hello, Mario. Okay, so we got pillars. Um, I'm gonna look for clues, if possible. Let me just see... What am I looking for here? I updated my lists, by the way. I now have a top 100 list. But I don't have, um, a good order for them. Bo button on wall. Oh, okay. Oh, other button. Yes. Well, I, I was just looking at chat. Oh. Ah, it's one of these puzzles. All right. Why do people like lists? I don't see the appeal, says a chat member. Well... I think it really kind of comes down to wanting to know someone's opinions on um, on a video game, on a, a thing they like. I don't really like. I like watching people's lists. I like reading about them, but it's it's not like a vital thing for me. My list was just a good way to think about all the games that I played. Like, over the years, um... ...that I like. So, for example, um... Oh yeah, I see what I have to do now. So, for example... I forgot about some of the games that I loved so much, like, I forgot Secret of Evermore would be on my list, perhaps. But, then I thought about it, like, well, wait a minute, is this really one of my favorite games ever? And it's kind of, maybe not, it's just a good game. So there's a number of games that I, I wanted to add to the list that I didn't quite add, and it just gave me a chance to think about the stuff that I like. Oh, I see. So it's fun. It was- it was definitely a nice little project. I'm gonna do, at some point when I get the video- when I get the list completely in an order that I like, when I'm feeling good about it, I'll probably do another video of it. It's just a fun thought experiment, really. More than anything. Um, I'll give you some examples. I should have known you'd figured it out. Time to get a refund from my security guy. Anyway, follow me. So just a couple of additions. Like Super Monkey Ball 2. Um... Slay the Spire is in my top 100. Subnautica. Monster Hunter World. Metroid Zero Mission. Wario Land. Outer Wilds, Rimworld, um, Silent Hill 2, Secret of Mana, Castlevania 3, Devil May Cry 5 made my top 100. What order? I don't know. You'll have to find out eventually. Um, Thousand Year Door, Twilight Princess, Red Dead Redemption, Shovel Knight, Pikmin 2, Dark Cloud 2, Stick Bug Symphony. Those are just some examples of games I, I added uh, to fill out my top 100. But I still need to... it's still a big work in progress. Wow. This is... it's... It's really something. Wait, what are we looking at? Patience, Origami. Now, Mario, you've got... Oh, I've got one more job for you. Come. The stick bug meme, for me, is just a repurposing of a Rickroll. And the the duck roll before it, and everything that's come after it, 
It's just funny to see every, like, couple years, it's just a new, like, Jape meme. What, what else was there? There's Stickbug, there's Rickroll, Gnomed, same shit, it's all the same shit. The memes recycle and repeat with each new generation, it's just like, it's just like life, really, like, every generation thinks that, like, they're- they're experiencing these feelings of being human for the first time. And- and there are some new ones, because we have phones now. Don't you people have phones? Uh, can you believe that Lord Bowser banned me from piloting the clown car again? I mean, what do you expect? Putting me out there without the proper training. Not even a thank you for saving him back at Peach's castle. Shy Guy is a hero. Push the button on the left and all of our problems will be solved. Do it! Okay. Wow, aluminum foil. Hell, it's- it's an airship. It's just a little, like, DIY, but I, you know, he's trying. <laughs> Behold my latest and greatest airship. It's really nice, and you say this thing flies? Look at Olivia's eyes. What do you think, Mario? We probably would've used this against you. Maybe we still will. Don't look around too much when you're on board. Oh, are you the groundskeeper for the airship, too? What? No, th this is a magic room. It's, it's not for sweeping. Although I do already see a few dusty areas that could use some attention. Excuse me! Checking in for duty, ma'am. Bobby? Is that you? How? Uh, what's happening? Am I seeing things? How are there so many poppies? I thought Bobby was gone after he saved my life with that big kaboom. Do you have me confused with another babam? It's okay, it happens all the time. It's the Final Fantasy IX Black Mage plot. We do our jobs, and when we're done, there's always another babam there to take our place. All any of us can hope for is to make an impact, ma'am. I suppose, if you say so. You know what? I'm not going to think too hard about this. It's just nice to see you again, Bobby. And thank you. All aboard! We storm Peach's castle in five. Didn't expect to storm Peach's castle on Bowser's airship. You two, do whatever you need to do to prepare yourselves. I'm, I'm told some anti-nausea medicine may be in order. Secret weapon is the button on the left. Cut engines is the button on the right. Hmm. You ready to go? All right, listen up, everyone. Start the engines. How does this big hunk of junk fly, anyway? I mean, what a glorious, majestic vehicle. Punch it. I, I like that the Coopers are following. Why, why don't they let these poor Coopers just, like, rest on the ship?
Uh, this is amazing. I can't believe this heavy boat can fly through the air. Exactly my thoughts, too. I have to work pretty hard to float just a little bit, and this thing is huge. It's very you, Bowser. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. They tell me it's the most powerful and least efficient vehicle ever produced. <laughs> I'd show you around more, but we're almost there. Can this bad boy move or what? Lord Bowser, enemy spotted right ahead. Least efficient. So what? You think those decorative cannons we got here? Load them up and open fire! It's just so silly. It revels in its silliness, though. It's kind of cool, too. <laughs> like, seeing a big, like, air battle rendered like this is, is kind of neat. <laughs> that was easy. Didn't even scratch the paint. Uh, my lord, there are more of them! Star Destroyer uh, versus X-Wings. Uh, they don't know when to quit! <laughs> Mario, you want to make yourself useful for once? Follow me! Okay! You're gonna fire the big gun. Don't mess it up. Now, there are two ways you, you can do this. You're gonna use the motion controls or left stick. Alright, get ready. Hopefully it's just gyro controls. I can, I can handle that. Here's how it works. Tilt and press A. Don't even think about ac accessing the menu right now. You've got a cannon of fire. Don't mess this up. Light him up! Oh, this is fine. All these- <laughs> all these bobbies. The bobby plotline just makes this a little bit more fucked up. But, well, that's what they're designed to do. And yeah, obviously I didn't end up going on a vacation. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that, Kamek. Obviously I didn't end up going on a vacation. The weather's just too, uh... It's gonna be too unpredictable tomorrow, as in 80% chance of a thunderstorm. So, I'm probably just gonna hold off a little bit, and then... At some point I'm gonna take a couple days. I already took one vacation, and it was nice, but, you know, I figured... Instead of taking, like, a full week off, I'll just do two mini ones. That works better for me, because I get bored if I don't, you know... If I'm just not doing anything for, like, a week. Yeah, bored of vacation, I... yeah. Come on, let me at him, let me at him. Slippy, look out! How's the blue marine, Fox? I thought I was done for it. Thanks for saving my shell. Incoming! More of them! That reminds me. This reminds me that UN Squadron needs to be in my top 100.
I probably put Splatoon 2 in there too. Like I didn't I didn't read that one off the list because it's not on there yet, but now I just thought of those two. UN Squadron and Splatoon 2. That means that I have to knock one off. Now I know that sounded weird and out of context. I have to knock one of my games off of my list. Young master, we must flee. Ah, uh, good luck! Sorry, chat. No, I have to draw the line at 100 games, because it's a nice number. It looks good. Otherwise, what would be the point? It would just be me, me listing games that I played. You know, I need to draw a line at 100. And Jackal, too, on the uh, NES. <laughs> God damn it. These bombs serve their purpose and very very wisely. Vinny, how can you choose what will be number 69? Currently number 69 is Metroid Fusion, but that's very subject to change. Oh my god. That sound effect. Dad's airship did most of it. Just saying. Come now, Mario performed more than adequately. I did eat, eat. Splatoon 2, F-Zero GX I left off. I'm, I'm just adding to the list now while I, <laughs> while I have it open. Uh, and what was the other one? Splatoon 2, uh, what did I say before chat? It was Jackal, Splatoon 2, F-Zero GX, UN Squadron. There we go. Now I'm good. Now I've got my list. Feels good, man. Um, hi everybody from Joel's stream. I'd like to let you know that this is the very end of Paper Mario, the Origami King. Meaning... BIG SPOILERS! BIG! So... Just be aware of that. Nice work, Mario. You're our hero, and that explosion those bobbies did was amazing, too. Yes, yes. Uh, let's not get carried away. The airship really did all the heavy lifting. Peach's castle in sight. Begin final approach. Enemy off the port side. It's coming straight for us. It really is a Star Destroyer. That Bespin set that I was uh, telling you guys about, the, the Lego Bespin set, is now going for $150 <laughs> because it sold out immediately. It's $40 set. And people are just like, going mental with it. Well, after all that, another crash landing. I mean, our first crash landing is... Bowser not even here? Oh man, Dad's not gonna be happy about the airship. His insurance premiums are already so high! Where are we, anyway? We were so close to Peach's castle. We must still be nearby. Oh, I'm a sweaty! I'm a smell, not showered weeks! What's the matter, Mario? Are you just hot? Is it hot in here, or is it just Mario? The world's on fire! Yes. 
Actually, I believe there is a simpler explanation. We must have just missed Peach's castle and crashed into the volcano instead. Hey, up here. It's me! <sighs> Never mind the airship. You know I'll build another one. Just get up here. I've got something to show you. Dad, you're okay! I was worried you'd get folded up even smaller or something. We'll be right there. Blast. We've lost both my magic broom and Young Master's clown car in all the confusion. It seems we'll have to proceed on foot. I have a Bowser Jr. from the, the Lego set that I did buy. Ouch, it's really hot by the edge, Mario. I'm worried it would be the end for you if you fell in there. You can't survive falling into lava, can you? Can you? I don't want to find out, so please be careful. It's Corona Mountain all over again. The, um, the starter set that I, I bought, that I, I mentioned, I didn't finish building it yet, because I've been lazy about it. But, I, I built the DLC set. Point is, Chatsworth, point is that, um, the Bowser Jr. that you build, that comes with the set, is really fucking weird. He just looks weird. Type, like, Lego Bowser Jr. and you'll see what I mean. It's not bad, but he's, like, really blocky. I get that's what the Lego thing is, but he's not, like, the typical minifigures. Oh my gosh, there are so many of them. What are we gonna do? <laughs> the path is too narrow. They can't get through. Then stop laughing and start running. We need to get out of here. Oh. Oh no. How'd they do that? Oh, they flattened it out. Oh no. Oh, no. Kamek. Don't do it. I'll hold them. You all. Hurry on to Master Bowser. We'll do it. Thank you, Kamek. Dad's airship. Oh, no. No, he'll just build another one, like he said. Some really good fucking music here. Just a cool set piece in general. Oh no, quintuple Kamek. This is fine. I have no problems with this event. I've been waiting for a good fight anyway. Bring it on, freaks! Stay safe, Junior. <laughs> Junior! Oh my god. It was like a Black Friday. People trying to get a Nintendo Switch. Or a Nintendo Wii, even. So, um, Kamek and Junior. I saw what happened. They can both take care of themselves. Not to get too deep into my parenting philosophy, but you have to let kids take chances. Parenting. Now, take a look at this. The airship's primary cannon is still intact. This might sound crazy, but if we load ourselves into that barrel, we could just shoot ourselves through the ceiling. That'll put us right on the doorstep of Peach's castle. Who says no? <laughs> it's a very Bowser thing to say. Who says no? Uh, 
I mean, sure. Cool. Oh, that's good. Good thing the floor was paper. <laughs> See? How do I never get credit for having great ideas? Well, I think you're amazing, Bowser. I'm very impressed with how you got so many minions to follow you, even though you're just a scary face. Whew, time for a deep breath. We've got to stop my brother and save Princess Peach. Oh, this is the final warp. Just, chat, just think if Mario had a pair of scissors or a razor blade, he could have cut that paper off of the pipe and skipped the whole game and just warped straight here. Vinny, you should do Battle Island now. I'm considering it. Maybe I don't want to. I'm gonna pass. I'll tell you what, chat. I just want to fly. Oh, come on. Seriously? What? It's locked. Oh, we need the key to Peach's castle. Huh? Why does that sound so familiar to me? Oh my gosh, we've found so many other keys, we haven't found this one? Mario! Mario Kart lore confirmed. Hang glider cart confirmed. Incredible timing, Luigi. We're so glad to see you. Hello, Mario. I mean... <clears throat> a big news, bro! You know the key I've been looking for. I couldn't find it. I've been looking everywhere, but I, I just can't find it. I'm sorry for letting you down, bro. It's got to be somewhere, doesn't it? Ah, <sighs> oh, don't worry about it, Luigi. We tried really hard. Or you tried re really hard, and that's what counts sometimes. The one key I couldn't find. You did your best, Luigi. Ugh, this is Luigi we're talking about, right? He's probably right around here somewhere, and he doesn't even know it. I was gonna say, if chat, the there should be a welcome mat, and it would be cool if it, if I could just like look under the welcome mat and the key was in there, but it's here instead. Wait, hang on a minute. You suck. I'm a sorry, bro. You suck. I'm a sorry, bro. Okay, that fucking hurts. No, Bunga is going to call you soon. You're hired. Yeah, I think like a welcome mat and, and like Mario or rather Luigi's like, ah, no. And then L Olivia's like, oh, what a nice mat. And then you look under it. <laughs> no wonder your cart is so slow. How long has that thing been stuck in the pipe? Mamma mia, it's been there this whole time. So all this searching uh, I've been doing was for nothing. Well, you had a way of finding other keys that we needed right when we needed them. That was helpful. And now you've brought us the right key at the right time. Way to go, Luigi. Really? Uh, well, it, it's a no big deal. I guess I just uh, got lucky. <laughs> you heard him. It was luck. So let's cut the pity party and bust into that castle already. Luigi wins by doing absolutely nothing. That is correct. Luigi has a bugged animation frame. Let's see what's bugged about it. It looks... What, it's, is it bugged? The L. Oh, it's not correct L. Huh. 
I didn't even notice that. Oh, not this again. Unfold, unfold, unfold! Ah! Come stay with us, Mario. Forever and ever and ever. You're finally here, Mario. I'm so happy. So happy. Princess, I'm a coming. Oh, my fucking God, really? Follow me. Let's just go to Babam Battlefield instead. It won't open, huh? Bet they didn't even put anything on the other side. Bah, patch! In the rest of the castle, you cowards. <laughs> Wait a minute, is that a meta joke? That's really good! Thanks, Bowser, that, that was enjoyable. The bomb is the left door. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. Nope, no Babam Battlefield, just Toad. Huh? Look at that! The wall's almost totally gone! Did it peel off when we got rid of the streamers? Does the shape of this hole in the castle look familiar to you? Wasn't Luigi stuck in a chunk of between-dimension type space that looked like this? Hmm. They, they took a bomb battlefield, holy shit. No. Yeah! Vinny, that was the toad diaper image? Oh, it was! You are the blessed few to have been invited by King Ali himself. Come along and witness. FMV? Oh. Oh, wow, okay. Uh... Cube. Could I have rescued Luigi, or is it now much too late, and canonically, is Luigi dead again? An origami castle? Can't believe it, he folded up Peach's castle into his own origami castle. I guess he really is serious about turning everything in the world into origami. So it's all folded up now. Big deal! Still Peach's castle, right? Your brother and Princess Peach are both still in there, so let's go get them! Yeah, these are the cursed stairs. You know that, um, VR Wario thing that I showed you, chat? That we did last week. What a baby's gotta do. If this make doesn't make any sense to you, then uh, don't worry about it, chat. But let me show you something real quick. Check this out. Watch this. Who's that? <gasps> it's Wario. In case you didn't know. So anyway, uh, the more you do that, you eventually get to the cursed stairs. Like, there's a whole little thing that you have to do in that map and, uh, in order to complete it, so to speak. It's like a good 15-20 minutes. I have a feeling that it's gonna be pretty dangerous up ahead, Mario. Maybe you should save first. Oh, thank you. Olivia... 
was like, oh, man, this guy didn't fucking save. Such a scatterbrains. I'm not even sure how to get inside. I don't think our key will work. Maybe try using your hammer. Oh, there's more. Olivia was actually rolled from the Nintendo Power guide for this game. That's the origami that she she was. That was the paper. She was rolled. Uh maybe not the right choice of word. Folded. Yeah, not not rolled. You know, she she's not a blunt. She's not a gaudy. Vinny, how do you know? Well, not yet, at least. That's in Conqueror's Bad Origami Day. It's Mario. Alert King Ali. I ordered you to stop Mario and his friends, and you failed. You pathetic cowards. I was going to retire tomorrow. Recycle me! I suppose this is fitting. Welcome to my origami castle, Mario. Hold on, brother. Folding Peach's castle into this origami castle is too far. There's no coming back from that. If you do anything worse, I... I... Oh, my dear Olivia. If only you shared my wisdom. If only you shared my vision for an origami kingdom. I assure you, folding all of Peach's castle into origami is just the beginning. Mario, since I know best, I have recycled or refolded this castle in my image. I sincerely hope you enjoy it. Bitch. Very bad idea. Wow, that was half of my health. All right. Okay. music. <laughs> it's really good. Bonk! Oh, I do have an invisibility suit that I've only used nuns. I know how to do this. I do, I know how to do this. I think.
<laughs> Overthinking is good for the soul. Wait a minute, wait a minute, please wait a minute. What is this now? <laughs> what is what? What? No, I said don't know. This is too stupid. Oh, right. Oh, my... my brain... My poor brain. I lament its loss. Use the fingers. Okay, get ready to move your pingors. Okay, just in case you need more money for toads. Someone in chat said T-O-D-E actually makes me laugh. What, spelling toad incorrectly on purpose, you, you heathen? I like it too, actually. Yeah. Cause it, it almost looks like the word chode. Oh, oh, I saw Bill and Ted last night. Um... I was having trouble sleeping, even though I was tired, so figure that out. And, uh, it was on Plex. I watched it. The new one. It's pretty good. I ended up uh, finishing it earlier today, but I watched most of it yesterday. It, it's definitely in the spirit of the old movies. And, um, it's weird seeing Keanu without facial hair these days. Like, the whole joke about Keanu Reeves not aging. I mean, he, he looks his- he looks younger than his age, but... It's weird seeing him act... like Ted. At his current age, but he's still really good. Alex Winter was great. Keanu was great. But, um... It's just funny to me how Keanu morphed into an action hero. Like, an action movie star. So, like so well with the John Wick movies. But anyway, yeah, no, I, I love the Bill and Ted movies, and this was good. It's my least favorite of the three, but for a fucking sequel that came out nearly 30 years later, like, I roll my eyes a little bit these days when I see sequels to movies from 30 years ago. This one delivered, and I'm really happy um, it was mostly good. Death was in it again. He was perfect. Uh, Sadler did a great job. Um, some good jokes. 
some slow parts, some you know dumb optimism that was the fame that was originally um, what the uh, first two were famous for. I couldn't say that sentence for some reason, but I really, I mostly really liked it, and I'm happy it got made. It was good to see them back on screen together. Couple good cameos too. Also, the dude from Barry played a robot. Um, Anthony... What's his name? Anthony something. Vinny Rotate, okay. Okay. Anthony Carrigan. Yes, he's- he was excellent in the movie. Um, someone in chat said, I miss George Carlin. I miss- I miss George Carlin, too. A lot. They had a little nod to him. So yeah, pretty good. If you're a fan of Bill and Ted, you might like it. If you never liked Bill and Ted, you might not like any of it. You might like a little bit of it, but... It's definitely a movie for the fans, and it doesn't... It doesn't suck too much. Vinny, should I watch the first two before I see the new one? Yes. It will improve the experience. You get everything you need in the movie to enjoy it, but it'll definitely... All the little references will, will make it better. STATION! It's also a good movie, like, the whole Bill and Ted ethos is that they're just... ...really positive dudes. That, you know, they don't party on like Wayne's World, but they, they're excellent to each other. And, uh, I like that. I, I like that we have... ...two goofballs that can be just, like, wells of positivity. Even if it's completely just over-the-top and silly, I, I enjoyed watching it. It was a good movie. That made me, um, feel optimistic and positive, at least. How do you like the Origami Castle so far? Too easy? Say no more! I heard your feedback loud and clear, and we'll be happy to implement changes immediately. Oh god. Oh god! It's a good I'm a have all these a mushroom. Vinny, you're getting killed by fortune things. Oh god, they are the fortune things. There is always the one kid in class who would make it and it would like everyone would have to learn how to make it afterwards. About the same success rate as a real psychic, in, in my experience, at least. Someone in chat said, I was the kid who made the vulgar fortune tellers. That was you, huh? I may not know you personally, but I know you. And I know your chat messages, too. 
all of them. I'm psychic. Mod tools? No, 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 no. Psychic powers. Vinny, what number am I thinking? Eleven team. Wasn't that Bilbo's uh, birthday? 111th birthday? Eleventy first birthday? Oh, okay, eleventy first. Okay, I thought it was one hundred and eleventeenth. Um, eleventy first birthday. I, I love that. Just perfect Hobbit language. Oh my God! I thought Bilbo was another one of your names for a second. I'm surprised it hasn't become that already. I really like this song. Oh my god, it's so good! Same composers that do the Fire Emblem games? That explains it. I don't know if that's true, that's what a chat member just said just now. Oh yeah, we're gonna go back in the fort! I like the music in Fire Emblem quite a bit. Uh, Awakening had my favorite soundtrack of the ones I've played. But, um, Three Houses had a pretty great soundtrack. Definitely enjoy Fire Emblem music. Oh yeah, Intelligent Systems, of course. They did Paper Mario, they do Paper Mario and uh, Advance Wars. Remember Advance Wars? That made my top 100 list. Vinny, you had it before. I, I wish I knew what I did before. Butt plug, now people are saying in chat. Chat, when you say you had it before, what, what does that mean exactly? What, what am I doing wrong?
Uh, I, I don't know this one, chat. I don't know this one. We're gonna delay it another 50 seconds because I am beef braining. Tugboat. I don't see the solution. Bunt cake. Bunt cake, please. Give me another 20 seconds or so. I got it. I got it, Chad. I, I think I got it. House <laughs> Beanstalk. She's a brick house. May Rose. No, no, my May May Ron. I don't know why that didn't happen before. I'm surprised the weird S never showed up in this game. You know the one that everyone drew? Like, we got the fortune teller things. The S isn't here. This pipe feels like japes. It's not japes, it's just not a good pipe. So when Chad said you'll have to wait for Paper Mario Pencil Panic for the S. What? Did they just steal that magic circle? Wait, Chad, didn't I confirm the name of the next Mario game? What did I say it was a couple days ago? Well, it wasn't- it was not Super Mario Soup, it was another one. It was a Paper Mario... Cardboard Caper? That's it, that's correct, chat. That's- that's actually confirmed by me. Now, I have a source that works at Nintendo. His name is Luigi.
It feels good to be laminated. Have you seen those vacuum suits where- oh, nope, we're not doing that. Vacuum suits. No, I'm good. I'm good. I got it. Okay, so, so, so. Let's try it like this. Maybe it, the uh, solution will present itself. Uh. No solutions here. Too many times do I try to stack the enemies in a vertical line. Too many times. switch. No! Vorticont, please. But then this don't work. What? I've ruined the chat. Well, chat ruined itself, but I didn't help it.
Holy man, these these are some good these are some good puzzles. These are some good puzzles, chat. Even with toad help, I have no idea what to do. That's a bomb belt. Listen, I'm just happy to be here. Even if I'm failing baby puzzles. Do da de da. You've earned the Battle King trophy. That's spelled T R O U G H. T. T. Y. Which is now, incidentally, what I'm asking myself. It's a live yacht. Hmm. Nintendo Plow. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo Plower is my favorite magazine. This is puzzles. It's like, here, just have all the rest of the trophies. We don't know where else to put them in the game. Or collectibles, or whatever the fuck you want to call them. What the fuck else could you even do with paper? They've done stickers, they've done color splashing, they've done origami. Eat, burn, paper fire. Cardboard caper. 
That's what I get for looking at chat. <clears throat> I'm not blaming chat, I'm blaming me for looking at chat while walking off a bridge. It's Mario! Get him, everybody! Oh man, that's that's a lot of Goombers. <laughs> yes. You're not giving up, huh? Guess you really like those flat losers. Pathetic. Anyway, it doesn't matter. My vision of a perfect origami kingdom is almost realized. Huh? You're still working on some evil plan? Why won't you just give up? How dare you criticize me? If it weren't for me, you wouldn't even be here. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, okay, hey, Squall. Tired of trying to explain myself to fools. You leave me with no choice. I believe you have my tape through. Hey. That's the thing. That's the thing that turned me into this! Mario, you gotta win this one! Bind them. That guitar is crunchy. <laughs> Did you see what the toad is saying? It's a dog? <sighs> You'd think I'd be used to facing art and office supplies by now, but this one's super scary. The barking, the biting, those sharp, sharp staples. Hey, wait. Those staples must be why all our folded friends can't unfold themselves. This thing must have bitten them. Lock them into angry origami form. Bad dog! Stay strong, Mario. This overgrown guard dog may be in the legion of stationary, but we can teach it to roll over. Well, may as well grab a hint. I just realized, I was like, oh, I'm going nowhere. stuck, pinned down, can't move. Oh, no. I hope this is right. Attack while it's waiting to reload. A little audio warble. Mm. 
mean, it did some damage at least. So that was a lot of staples. Reloading. Changing mag! I can't use the hands. I can't. There's no on. I screwed up. I used the, the hands too early. That wasn't a small amount of damage, though. Oh, no. Oh, God. Liquid hot staples. Whoa, the staples are bright red now. What is this, an art house horror film? <laughs> they look more dangerous than the regular staples. We need to be ready for the worst. too close, it'll use two staples to pin you down. If you're too far, fire eight staples at you. Ah, oh, shit. Well, it's a good tip. I mean, that got rid of some of its staples, but I'm still... I'm still gonna get stapled to the ground. No, not this one. Check this out, chat. Full toad. Do you think that stapler's been on a clown's... undergarments at any point? using legendary boots when they, they only do this minimal amount of damage. But, we managed to get rid of a bunch more staples, so that's good. Does it still have staple? Yeah, it's still sta- no, uh, no, it's re- It's reloading! We got that part. Ah! 
Bamsu! Gold staples. Huh? The next round of staples is gold? That's so fancy. If they're as painful as they are expensive, we can be in serious trouble. What do we do? Should have opened a treasure chest instead. Okay. Okay, this is a lot of damage. Why regular? Because the rainbow stuff wasn't doing, um, the legendary stuff wasn't doing any extra damage. And now it's pissed again. Go, Toad. If you can't do it, no one can. It really is so cheap. It's so cheap. Wait, only a 50 heal? That's not enough heal. I, I got 200 before from the Toads. It needs to be a full 999. I have to do the treasure chest. Then he slide chest up. Oh, that's a good idea. But then there's no attack. Worth it. All right, we're good. We're good. Okay. Okay. We need to finish this now. Bad rotate. That was almost a very bad... You know what? I probably still would have managed to defeat it, but that was a bad rotate. Not the best option. Yes! Who 
who's the state of clown now. Uh, something came loose. Oh, this could be our chance to fix poor Bowser. Think about it, Bowser was in pain. This entire time, having a staple. Betwixt his body. Yes, I'm back! We never speak of this again, got it? Wow, so that's what you actually look like. You're so big and strong. Kinda scary, too. <laughs> That's right! Now, let's find that twerp brother of yours and see what he thinks of me in all my glory. I also wouldn't mind showing Princess Peach that I'm not a sandwich board anymore. It's a little weird. Just want to save Bowser. Probably a save point right there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, if I know evil layers, and I think I do, this should be the top floor. That's where the throne room usually is. Your brother must be on the other side of that door, so let's go get him. I I'm scared. I can't believe my own brother would set that vicious stapler on me. Can we even stop him now? Or is he already too powerful? Thank you, Mario. You're always there for me when I'm at my absolute flimsiest. This has just been such a long and difficult journey. But, I've had so much help along the way. I'm so grateful for you and Luigi, Kamek, the Bowsers, and Bobby, of course. Oh, and that professor, Captain Teod, Old Grand Sappy, the Shangri Spa Toads, the Sea Captain, the Oarsman, and the Origami Craftsman. You've all been so amazing and helpful, and now I just feel bad that I'm putting you all in danger yet again. Hey, Origami Girl, look at me! I'm Bowser, I breathe fire and punch through solid rock sometimes. You think I'm scared of that little twerp? Plus, I mean, I'm raising Junior. You think that's easy? Try parenting a high-energy kid with access to a flying car and his own army. Your brother doesn't scare me. <laughs> Wow, that really puts it into perspective. You know what? I'm feeling better. How about you, Mario? Are you ready to do this? Alright, I feel like I'll be ready to do my part when the time comes. I just have to do my best and count on all of you, my friends. Yoo-hoo! Oh, that was a little audio glitch! <laughs> Again! Why is there so much audio glitch tonight? Oh, well, you're finally here. Took you long enough. Chat, when you say turn off chat or remove chat, that in and of itself, I'm thinking, like, what's going to happen? I start formulating stuff. It, you know? It's not really helpful. It's okay. I'll just play the game. As a matter of fact, it took you so long that there's nothing you can do to stop me now. Brother, are you still planning more terrible things? Yeah, who do you think you are, folding up me and my minions like that? Like you could keep all this from busting loose. Anyway, where's Princess Peach? Is she safe? Is she comfortable? Does she have something to read? 
asking for a friend. Oh, the princess is right in front of you. Behold. Uh, what the fuck? I told you, didn't I, that I would transform all of Peach's castle into an origami castle, including the princess herself. She is at one with the castle now. Beautiful, precious, and silent. I'm sure she's happier this way. You monster, folding Princess Peach into the castle is too much. You've gone too far. You couldn't possibly do anything worse except... Wait. <gasps> All those paper cranes, you wouldn't. I would, and I did. Witness the thousand cranes technique. He who has the patience to fold one thousand origami cranes shall have any wish granted. That is real, ultimate power, and I shall use it to turn every last one of these wretched toads into mere blank paper. What? That's crazy talk. The toads can't come back from that, you know. I wouldn't even do that. I've done some mean stuff, believe me. Ask Kamek. I still don't understand what you've got against toads. <laughs> he, he is the audience. Do you realize that even you were originally folded by a toad? Of course I do. He's the whole reason I'm doing this. A fool disrespected the very paper I am made of. He scribbled all over me! Now I bear the hideous scar of his negligence and disregard for origami. And he shall pay. That's what this is all about. <laughs> That's why you're doing this? But even if you're mad at him, why take it out on all the other toads? If you've seen one toad, you've seen them all. They're all the same to- Oh my god. Wow, it's actually... So, it's an in-game comment about how every toad is the- is the same, and every Mario game has toads in it. Very good, thank you, game. Very good. That's why I have to turn them all into blank pieces of scrap paper. I'd never have to see a single one of their stupid faces again. That is my vision for a glorious origami kingdom. As for you, Mario, you've proven to be quite annoying. There's nothing you can do to stop me now. Already 999 of my cranes are complete. After I defeat you, I'll honor your paper by folding you into the very last crane. Shit. Your adventure ends here, Mario. I will fulfill my dream. If you won't fold willingly, I shall bend you to my will by force. Stop that little jerk! Just remember, I brought all of these toads with me, everywhere. Wait, what? That's the shape of the Earth Elemental. Indeed, I've mastered the techniques of every bibliofold. Now witness how a king wields these powers. My brother sounds excited. That can't be good for us. Be careful, Mario. Look, Mario, it's one of those super special magic circles. I might be able to turn into any of the elementals now. Uh, which elementals power will you use? Um, well, chat already kind of spoiled it, but... I guess maybe that's what chat was saying. Turn off chat, it wasn't like a story beat, but it was like... I don't know. Oh, it's too late. I can't feign ignorance now, you know, I, I have to, like, use the right one. Curses! I, I can't move! The other ones will be, I think, more obvious, at least.
Y yes. Huh, not bad. Time to switch tactics. He turned into the fire of elemental. Well, that's going to complicate things a little bit. Good luck, Mario. Fire versus fire? <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds good. No, my flames. feathers. It's a good thing this boss only has one form and, and this will not be... This, this is the end of the fight. You surpassed the power of my superior folded paper. Brother, are, are you okay? You must be exhausted. <laughs> of all the lines to say... Using even one elemental form can be... Shut it! I don't need your pity. I folded you so we could turn this flat world into an origami kingdom. But you betrayed me. And allied yourself with these paper peasants. Don't you see, Olivia? We're both origami. Why are you fighting me? Ollie, we are origami, but this isn't what we were made for. We both started as simple sheets, but we had souls folded into us. We were made with love, love of art, love of creation, love for life itself. That's what origami is all about. Look at the toad faces are in chat now. We should be friends with all paper beings. If there's love in our hearts. You're lecturing me about love? Was there love in the heart of that paper toad who scribbled all over me? We're nothing like that flat, flimsy fool. We were folded for greatness! I should have known you wouldn't understand. How could you? I made you too perfect, too pure. It's a mistake I'll soon correct. Here, Olivia, let me show you the true power of origami. Origami God. With one w one wing. Gonna summon Meteor. Just keeps unfolding. What's happening? What do we do? I guess it's like a singularity. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Toad crutch has been removed. Mm. 
look around you, Olivia. I'm folding the very fabric of reality. Origami emboldens the limitless power of transformation. With this power, I shall rid the world of all pathetic paper-thin beings. Pinky. What did I read? I read the wrong word. That's That happens sometimes. You think we're gonna roll over just because you puffed up your chest and got all weird looking? I've had enough of you and your bad haircut. It's go time. Bowser, wait. That was a uh, very uh, intimidating speech, but he's too powerful here. I'll crumple you for sure. While he was right, this place is made of pure origami power. It strengthened him, so it could strengthen you too. Let me fold you. Okay, I want an origami Bowser now. <laughs> I love it. Nice work, origami girl. Okay, I'm gonna show this paper pusher how a real final boss fights. They should just like slap each other. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> this guy's tougher than he looks. I might need some backup. Whoa, where did all these magic circles come from? Let's use these. If we slam the ground with a thousand-fold arms, we can give Bowser an advantage. When Bowser nears a magic circle, run behind him and use it to summon the thousand-fold arms. Bowser shifts to a different spot. Press B to cancel your attack. Switch magic circles. Huh? The magic circle vanished. I guess they don't last very long. Do you ever stop meddling? These should keep you busy. This is so weird. I like that Bowser's finally getting his due here. I'm glad he played such a pivotal role at the end of this game. Oh, it's Paper Sumo. That makes sense. No, I mean, it's just, it's nice that, uh, I say it's nice that Bowser gets to be a Megazord and gets his revenge. These things are getting a little harder to avoid now. My arms are getting tired! I will not be beaten by this bouncing blowhard! To me, my folded soldier! Whoa. A big angry face. Where did that thing come from? We better act fast. Slam the ground as many times as you can before it falls and crushes us. It was too close. If we hadn't dodged, we'd have been crumpled for sure. Hey, that big face hit the ground so hard it bounced Ollie back towards the center. We we're so close. We can't stop now. Let's do it again.
You think you've won? But this battle is not over yet! Snake! <laughs> you got beat by Paper Powerhouse! Eat gravity, you jerk! Curse you! Well, my arms are at least tired. I feel like I've accomplished something. Somehow, Palpatine returned. I can't believe it. I know there was goodness in him, but all I chose to hate flat paper beings to the bitter end. Goodbye, brother. I hope we meet again someday. Oh, there's more. I will not allow this. I will crush you, all of you. Oh no, my brother's way too big. We can't stop him like this. Oh wait. That origami craftsman gave me something special before we left his workshop. It's time to use it. Another magic circle. Oh, <laughs> pathetic. What do you hope to do? Slap my wrists with those feeble arms of yours? What the fuck is this gonna be? Oh, come on, he jumbled up our magic circle. Could he fight fair for like two seconds? I gotta solve puzzles now? My anger, my rage, it's turned into a deadly poison rising up from below. You better act fast. If that gas reaches this platform, it will be the end of you. Haha. -ha. Hurry, Mario, we have to fix this jumbo-sized magic circle as fast as we can. Chat, many of you know that this is not something I'm particularly good at. This, this seems correct. Chat, this seems correct. Ah, uh, shit. Vinny, it's upside down. Oh, you're right, it is upside down. It's time to rotate! I hope I don't have to do that entire fight again. I'm sweating now. Okay, no, the music is, is encouraging. Okay, good. I was half a second away from solving that. Well, Alright, maybe one full second away from solving that.
Uh, wait, what, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? What have I done? Oh, blue is fucked up. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, blue is fucked up. Everything is fucked up. Oh, <laughs> all right. I have to do this and then rotate. All right, well, yeah, I, okay. I thought I could, like... <laughs> I was like, hey, this looks fucked up. I thought I could save time by just doing it like that, but that was in completely wrong. Uh, that was good, very nice. Thank you, eat dick. Well, now I definitely got it, chat. Let's just- don't worry about the climax and anti-climax. Just- just think about- think about how good it will be later. You know, with, without failure, how does one fully know what it is? It's it. But what is it? You remember the song. Third time is the charm, chat. We're just... I was just playing. I was just joshing. You think I'll allow this? I'll make this magic circle as useless as scrap paper. Too soon. <sighs> I can't believe that. Chat, this is- I got it. I got it this time. Mario's turn. I was one A button press away. Oh my gosh, you did it, Mario. We can finally use the magic circle. The origami craftsman gave me one final folding technique. It's our only chance of stopping Ollie. Big hammer. Big go hammer technique. Brother, please come to your senses. And Mario really just likes to solve problems with violence. 
In this game, I've learned that the best way to solve puzzles and problems is by hitting them with hammers. And also to not do anything of importance, and then eventually just find keys at random. I'm sorry, brother, I had no choice. Oh, but you poor- your poor body is all crumpled now. Maybe I went too far. No. <laughs> Olivia. This hammer attack was divine. You put everything into it. It was enough to awaken me from this dark dream. I was too proud. Too entitled. My heart was... Blinced. My path was creased. I was... A mess. Wait, what's this? On your belly. Oh. Hurts to move. That's the cause of all this madness. The careless scrawl that Toad marked me with. Read it for me, will you? I must know what's written there. What words of gibberish mark this foolish body? Please, I could use one last laugh. Okay, um, let's see. Dearest Ollie, may you grow into a fair and kind king. It's not just a scribble. It's a very sweet message from the origami craftsman. He just wished you the best as a new king. <laughs> oh, I've been a terrible king. To think this is how I repaid his kindness. I just became so blinded by rage. I did so many unforgivable things. I'm so sorry that Princess Peach and Mario got caught up in all this. Olivia, there's something you must do for me. Please accept these 999 cranes and then fold my body into the 1,000th. When the last fold is complete, you will gain the ability to have any wish granted. I don't suppose it'll make up for everything I've done, but it's all I have left. I'm begging you, Olivia, do this for me. Brother! Mario, I have something to confess. I don't know how to fold a crane. Maybe Ollie could have taught me. After all, he folded the whole castle and even me, but look at him now. Oh, yes. Hey, guys, I hope I didn't miss too much. I found the origami craftsman. Maybe he can talk Ollie out of all this nonsense, right? Because he's the one who originally folded him. Ah, uh, yes, I remember this paper well. Such a lovely royal purple. And Olivia, so good to see you making use of the giant hammer technique I folded into your design. Wait, there's an awful lot of cranes here. Is one of you attempting the forbidden 1,000 crane technique? Yes, but I promise I won't use it for evil. Can you teach me how to fold the last crane? I want to fulfill my brother's final wish and complete the thousandth crane myself. Very well, I will teach you. Suppose all of this trouble is my fault in a way, after all. I was the one who originally folded your brother. This will be my... Last fold of life, then. Olivia, prepare to fold as you have never folded before. Well done. With that, the technique is complete. You may make your wish, Olivia. Okay, my wish... My wish. It's for a Nintendo Direct. This 3rd of September. Thousandth Crane, grant me my wish. May all the origami folded by my brother be undone!
Wait a minute. All except one, right? I wish for Bobby to come back. Wahoo. I wish for Peach's Castle DLC. Oh my goodness. What are we all doing here? Princess Peach, you're back to your old self. Wahoo! Wait, we're missing someone. Where is uh, Olivia? There's a surprising amount of loss in this game. Classic ending theme, very nice. So every, happy that everything's back to normal. Toad Town is bustling with an origami festival. Everyone's discovering the magic of origami and having fun. See, so even even every like Bowser's minions are getting along with the toads. That's nice. This won't last long, this piece. It's what all true warriors strive for, but, you know, Bowser's just gonna build another airship soon. His lust for revenge is, is too great. Luigi's got the boot now. Good for him, he's got a new car. Ah, Mario, Peach, come take a look. My masterpiece is finally finished. You see, it's a miniaturized origami castle, just like the one Ollie made. Okay. Okay, I'm sad. She was so brave to do what she did, we owe her everything. I just know she's with us in spirit. I wish I could thank her. Gather around, everyone. It's time for the big finale. To all the origami, thank you. Yeah. Paper lanterns. Um, I'll take a look at the secret ending for the 100%. After the credits. Well, not after, but, you know, when something isn't happening. But yeah, I didn't go for a hundred percent. Just because, um... I feel like this was a good... length for this game. And I didn't... I didn't really want to do everything and find every secret.
but um, pretty good game. We'll watch the little bonus scene in a minute, but uh, I guess I'll just share my thoughts about this game overall. It was a good video game. There were ways it could have been better, and I talked about those plenty during this playthrough. There are some things that would have brought it a little closer to what I think the, the Paper Mario fans would have wanted. But if you take it for what it is, it was charming. I really fucked up a lot of those puzzles. But yeah, the presentation here is really nice. It's a, it's good uh, visuals, good good excellent music. Um, the story was surprisingly like sad, and I like that the partners were kind of back, even if they weren't back for the whole game. Like they were just partners per area. The writing was um, was really funny at times, and otherwise just like a lot of fourth wall breaks and quips. Again, this isn't Final Fantasy... <laughs> this isn't Final Fantasy 7, or 6, or anything like that. It's just Paper Mario. It's... it's... lighthearted. But, um, pretty good. I like that the combat was... broken up by, like, actual real-time, like, hammer combat. I enjoyed that some sometimes, when it wasn't just the, um, the ring battles. I... I didn't really love the, um, the lack of... We've talked about this plenty, but, like, the, the lack of character, um, development. Like, leveling up and getting new armor and weapons and all that stuff. Like, I, I guess I would have preferred that, getting new moves. But it's still a little bit more RPG than I was expecting. Um, this section of the game was great. I, I liked all the areas. I liked the nighttime desert a lot. I liked this a lot, the Wind Waker shit. It was just, uh, yeah, it, it's a game that starts out a little bit okay, and then it just gets better and better. And I'm always a fan of Bowser becoming a friend. So, that was handled well. Kamek becoming a partner was nice, too. So yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. I haven't played Sticker Star or Color Splash, but I would imagine of those three, of this plus those those two, uh, this seems to be the best one according to a lot of fans. In terms of my rankings, I would still say Thousand Year Door is my favorite, followed by the original, and then Super Paper Mario. This is just near Super Paper Mario for me. Like, it's right there. I liked Super Paper Mario, I think it was great. It had a lot of cool shit going for it, but it also had some... some stuff that held it back, same as this. But I'm, I'm glad that I played this. I'm glad I streamed it. I was thinking about, like, oh, is this gonna be good? And... I'm very pleased to have streamed a game that ended up being... mostly satisfying and, and funny, and chat liked it. Yeah, it's pretty good. And now the Nintendo drought will continue. So here's the bonus 100% scene. It should have been, like, the end of Inception. You know, like, it should have just, like, like, Olivia's, uh, paper mache should have vibrated, like, one pixel. And people could have analyzed that forever. <sighs> no, it's- that's kind of sad, but also kind of cute. And, I don't know, I liked it. But the future... refused to change. Vinny, Bobby survives ending. What's this cool video gonna be? What? 
this is just like a fan made video that inserts Bobby into the ending. It's a glitch. Oh, it's a glitch. All right. Um, Vinny, would you recommend this game? I think if you listen, would I recommend this game? I would recommend it to most people. I would still say watch a little bit of it. You know, determine whether or not you want to do that battle system. If you liked other Paper Mario games, you might like this one. If you're just looking for another game on the Switch that is kind of good, kind of chunky in terms of gameplay length, I think you'll enjoy this. I'd mostly recommend it, sure. It's like an 8 out of 10 type game for me. You know what I mean? Like, it's in that range of, of if I had to give it a number score, which I don't usually like to do. But it's like in, in there, somewhere around there, depending on, you know, person to person. Um, but for me, it's about an 8 out of 10. And it wasn't that any part of it was, was bad. Like, it just didn't um, grip me like Thousand Year Door did, I guess. But that's a great score. This isn't the IGN scale, which again, Crystal Chronicles, 3 out of 10. Yeesh. I thought they didn't give below fives. But um, for me, an 8 out of a 10 is like a very, very good game. So again, I'm glad I played it. And I'm, I'm happy that uh, you were all here to watch it with me. This was a good surprise. We didn't even know this game existed until, you know, a couple months before it came out. And yeah, I'm, I'm happy it exists. So, also glad it's over just because I'm ready for some new video games. <laughs> it was like the perfect length. It did not overstay its welcome. You know, you have to destroy the streamers, myself included. And then you go through the castle. It's really, like, the pacing of the game is mostly very good. Alright, everybody, thank you once again, Paper Mario Origami King. So long. You will be missed. Thoughts on the bosses? I like the bosses in the game. I thought the bosses were, were cool. It took the puzzle concept and expanded it a little bit for each boss. And I don't even mind that I had to fight staplers and tape. I mean, I get that that's what the theme was. Um, but it worked. It, it was funny. And the game made me laugh a bunch. So it, it works for me. We're going to take a quick break. And I'm going to return with Destroy All Humans, which I might be able to finish tonight um, in an hour and a half. I, I think I can. Hey, here's a song. I played Nirvana yesterday, so I'm going to play Pearl Jam today because I'm predictable and lame. But here's one of my favorites from them. Enjoy. Enjoy. 